Hello Pisces, and welcome to another reading by the Blessing Foundry. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, I thank you for your continued support. Today's reading is going to be a general read to look at whatever energies and messages Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. We will get started. If you haven't already subscribed, I invite you to subscribe, please. Do this. I really appreciate your support. Here we go. Guides, God, the angels, ancestors, 5D light and above, please come near. Please connect with the Pisces collective, the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel to get the messages that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they watch this video. We ask that you are clear and concise and call on Pisces, guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self to get the exact messages that Pisces needs. All right, here we go, Pisces. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces when they watch this video, please? What does Pisces need to know? What messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? Wow. So there may be a message coming through that is in some way emotionally fulfilling. It may be an emotional offer. It may be an offer of a job. It may lead you to entering a new cycle. What other messages do you have for Pisces? What other messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know, please? What other messages do you have for Pisces? Please be clear and please come near. What messages do you have for Pisces, please, Spirit? Oops. Okay. Any other messages for Pisces, please? <clears throat> Any other messages for Pisces, please, Spirit? Any other messages for Pisces, please? Anything else? We'll give it a couple more shuffles and see if anything else comes out. Any other messages you have for Pisces, Spirit? Okay. Thought there might be a little something else that was trying to come out, but wasn't sure. All right, Pisces. So we start off this reading with some type of message, well, multiple messages coming through. It could be multiple messages um, that will lead you into a new cycle. It can be messages that bring you satisfaction, fulfillment, and success. You could be offered something. But either way, this message, whatever's coming forward, we, we will, of course, get clarification. Whatever is coming forward is going to put you in a position of increased in abundance and will be able to lead you to having great focus and it will be something that you can build upon and really work towards that will bring you additional abundance and satisfaction and wish fulfillment. Okay, let's see. We will get clarification for these. Pardon me, Spirit, please clarify these cards for Pisces. What do Pisces need to know about this message you have for them? What guidance do you have for this message for Pisces, please, Spirit? What is this page of wands? What is this page of wands for Pisces, please? What is this page of wands for Pisces, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this page of wands? What is this page of wands for Pisces? What do you want P Pisces to know about the Page of Wands, please, Spirit? Please speak to Pisces and give them the direction they need. What is this Page of Wands? Thank you. Hold on one second. These cards feel... Okay. So we're getting repeat cards now. Well, not now, but just in the beginning here. So we're getting... <clears throat> that... Pardon me, please. We're getting the Chariot and the world card clarifying the page of wands. So to me, that is in fact saying that the news that's coming forward is going to bless you in some way that you're going to be able to move forward and move towards your emotional fulfillment, satisfaction, and success. You've definitely you know, been waiting for a while is what I'm getting and divine is coming forward to give you an opportunity to to move on, to complete one cycle and move towards a new cycle that's going to be emotionally fulfilling for you. <clears throat> Let me get these organized here, guys. And, and what is this world card for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this world card? 
What do you want, Pisces, to know about this world card? What do you want, Pisces, to know about the world card here, please, Spirit? What is this world card for Pisces? Since we have the world card twice. Pardon me. What is this world card for Pisces, please, Spirit? Please be clear. Okay, so we have, you're going to be able to move beyond things that were hidden or things that were unseen. We have the Eight of, Wand, Eight of Pentacles coming out again um, and clarifying the world card. So it seems as though you're moving, you're going to be able to have clarity to move away from the things that were not serving your purpose and to make a plan that is going to lead you to a better future, to a new success, success, a new successful cycle where you're going to be able to really focus. You know, we, we have the focus again on heading towards a much better life for yourself, much better circumstances, and move away from people and things that may have been deceptive and, you know, kept you in the dark or, you know, just weren't really ringing true with yourself. And Spirit, what is this Page of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? What, do, what does Pisces need to know about this Page of Cups? What is this Page of Cups for Pisces, please? What is this Page of Cups for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Page of Cups, please? Pardon me. So this Page of Cups is clarified by the Four of Pentacles. So what you're going to be able to work towards here, you're going to be able to have this movement forward um, because something is going to be presented into your life that's going to enable you to move forward into this new cycle where you're going to have something offered to you that you're going to hold dear to your heart, that's going to mean a lot to you, and that's going to bring you stability and security. And it, it's going to be emotionally okay to hang on to this. In the past, you may have held on to things that did not serve your highest good, but this is going, this is a new cycle, Pisces, that it's going to be okay. You know, if you had fear and apprehension of holding on to things in the past, that's, that's going to change in this cycle because it's, it's a new, better cycle. And what is this chariot for Pisces? What do you want Pisces to know about the chariot card? What do you want Pisces to know about this chariot card, please? What is this chariot card for Pisces, please? Thank you. And we have the page of wands again. So here in the first card, Pisces, which is the Page of Wands, it's clarified by the Chariot card. And now the Page of Wands is clarified by the Chariot card. So Spirit is very clear in the fact that when you have this message, um, whether it's an internal knowing or a message, but I'm really thinking that something's going to happen that's going to be able to catalyze you and be able to like help you to move forward, to say, definitively okay now is the time for me to move forward because this is going to be um beneficial for me and what is this ace of pentacles for pisces please what do you want pisces to know about this ace of pentacles like if you have been considering moving forward or making a change or that something needs to be different this is what this is about is what i'm getting What is this Ace of Pentacles for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want, Pisces? Wow, okay, guys. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, it's several here. Pardon me. So we have the, the Nine of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. <clears throat> and then we have the Chariot again. This is remarkable, guys. And then we have the Four of Cups and then the Ten of Cups. Okay. So Pisces, as you move forward, you're going to, you know, you may have, as I was just saying, that this situation that we're seeing here is likely something you have been trying to figure out. Like, should you move forward? What should you do? What's the next step for me? And this is what this reading is really addressing. It's that contemplation you have been doing and finally getting to the point where something changes, there's a new news or message or some type of opportunity is presented to you that makes it clear to you that yes, this is, this is the time, this is the divine right timing to move forward with this. 
And here, you know, we have the chariot and then with the ace of pentacles and the ace of pentacles, of course, is that new beginning, that new tangible offer, that opportunity for increase. And it's clarified by the nine of swords and two of pentacles, which I would say um, that is exactly what I was just speaking about is for a while you've perhaps been in your head and not sure, not making a decision to move forward or not. You may have had multiple offers or opportunities come, but none were really, they never, they didn't feel like true to yourself. Like inside you were like, yeah, but, or okay, but it just doesn't feel right. But here, when this Ace of Pentacles, when this opportunity is presented to you, you'll, you'll get this message, you'll have, it'll give you a sense of emotional fulfillment and that it's, it's really the right thing for you. And you'll decide to move forward because you understand that it is, in fact, your Ace of Pentacles. This is the one for you. Um, and it will bring you out of that worry and anxiety and mental space and you'll make the decision of you know, which opportunity you're going to choose and you will in fact move forward towards that and that is going to lead you directly to your Ten of Cups. So this offer, opportunity or message that's coming through is definitely going to be the one that you'll want to work on and it's going to bring you that satisfaction and abundance. What is this Eight of Pentacles for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this Eight of Pentacles? What do you want Pisces to know about this Eight of Pentacles, please, Spirit? What is this Eight? Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords, the Devil, the Star, and the Seven of Swords again. So you're going to definitely get some clarity. You're going to be able to cut cut away um, situations, toxic things, hold on, that may have that may have been in the way previously. So we have the Seven of Swords twice now. And we have the Seven of Swords here with the Moon and the Eight of Pentacles. And the Seven of Swords is clarifying the Eight of Pentacles here. So this is telling me, Pisces, that as you decide to take the opportunity that's right for you, whether it's in career, finances, love, personal satisfaction, however this resonates best with you, you're going to be able to move away from the Seven of Swords, this trickery, this deceit, this dissatisfaction with what you have been dealing with. The Seven of Swords, I'm again seeing, so we have the Seven of Swords. I'm drawn to this in a way that right through the core of the Seven of Swords, we have one sword. So what is happening, Pisces, is I'm seeing that you're seeing through, look at these eyes right here. Look at these eyes at the top and it's almost like these two eyes have become opened over the Ace of Swords. So it's like through, you have seen and clearly saw the truth in the Seven of Swords and you're working on a new passion. You're working on your hopes, dreams, and desires and you're having that healing and renewal that's going to take place as you move away and cut off this devil energy. So perhaps you had some type of devil energy that was holding you back from moving forward into this new beginning. What is this nine of cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? What do you want Pisces to know about this nine of cups? What do you want Pisces to know about this nine of cups, please? What do you want Pisces to know about this nine of cups, please, Spirit? Pardon me? Okay. What do you want Pisces to know about this Nine of Cups, please? Please be clear so I know which ones you want. What? Okay, and then we're going to flip out the deck. What is this Nine of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? Okay. And we have the Six of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So your energy is showing up here, Pisces. And we have the Queen of Cups twice now. So Pisces, this is going to be something that brings you so much satisfaction and harmony in your life. It could very well be that you're having a connection with a soulmate or twin flame that's coming forward and you'll recognize that as the opportunity you want to move forward with or some type of love union. It could be some type of opportunity that's presented to you that really brings a healing and harmony over your life and 
brings you so much emotional satisfaction. Um, additionally, let me pull some other cards here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Spirit, please clarify this Nine of Cups with a couple more cards. This Nine of Cups with a couple more cards. Thank you. So we have the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Cups again, and the Seven of Wands. So now, Pisces, we see that this you're going to be so happy and satisfied with what is coming towards you that we have the Ace of Cups again and the Eight of Cups again. This new offer that's coming through or this new divine blessing, this answered prayer that's coming forward is going to bring you into such wish fulfillment, satisfaction and abundance that you are, you're going to stand in your power and your courage and you're going to walk away from whatever is not your Ace of Cups, whatever is not bringing you harmony and satisfaction and emotional fulfillment from now on. And you're going to move forward and you're going to stand your, in your power and, and hold your own so that you don't let that devil energy come back into your life. Because this is going to be the opportunity to, to move forward into this new beautiful opportunity for you. Spirit, please give a couple cards from this deck to help inform Pisces of what this situation is. Please give a couple cards from this deck to help show Pisces what they need to know about this situation, please. A couple cards from this deck to help Pisces understand. So, Doctor. So, we have a healing aspect in Milady. Hmm. So I'm definitely getting Pisces because Malaid is um, in Fermo. It's like recovery, right? Like recovering from a sickness and doctor. So whatever this is, it's going to bring a healing into your life over these circumstances, over something that has kept you down for a while, whether it's this energy of the devil that, you know, you're cutting away. So, you know, that sword is effectively the doctor coming in and saying, okay, here is what you need to do to heal. Um, but you're going to be recovering from any type of setback or, re or um, hardship. And you're going to definitely be moving forward. In, in fact, you know, that's probably may be what the message is, is an opportunity that comes forward that lifts you up. You know, we have the Ace of Cups twice. We have the Ace of Pentacles so there, and we have the Ace of Swords. We just don't have the Ace of Wands, I don't think. So we have an emotional rebirth, a mental rebirth, and a material rebirth here, Pisces. One card for Pisces from this deck, please, for this reading. One card for Pisces for this reading, please, Spirit. Thank you. And we have two. And we have death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. And, you know, that resonates, Pisces, because we see that we have the world card and we have the devil energy with the ace of swords. So there's going to be a severing um, of something here in order to move forward into this new cycle. And the news that's coming forward is going to be what catalyzes you. You know, you're going to get this news of some answered prayer, divine blessing that's going to move you forward. And, you know, have you moved towards your emotional fulfillment? We see that here in this page of wands. And we also see that here in this nine of cups. Can you guys, sorry guys, I didn't mean to bump it. And we also see this here in the nine of cups where your wishes are fulfilled. The six of cups, you know, somebody's bringing a cup of emotions to you. And then, you know, we have the queen of cups again. And then the ace of cups, which you're going to be moving forward. And then we have adversity. I accept the challenges that I sorry, I'm sorry. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So it shows here, Pisces, that you have definitely been through some some challenges, and now you're at the tipping point or the edge of change to where you know for a while you've probably been contemplating making some moves or making some changes in your life and. It looks like now is going to be the time. So, Spear, please give Pisces some angel answers regarding the when this is going to occur and what they need to know about it. One angel answers for this reading, please, Spirit. One angel answers for it. Thank you. Remain positive, they say. Okay, so if when we have energy of a death and rebirth, 
in the midst of adversity, it will in fact be critical to remain positive through this. You'll know, keep your chin up, excuse me, keep your chin up and your vibration high. And we have recovery. So here, Pisces, this is now recovering is starting to be a key focus in this reading because we have um, the star card here after the clarity of the, the seven of swords with the ace of swords. And we see moving to better waters. And then with the doctor Malade, we have, you know, healing from some type of sickness and recovering from it. So we do in fact see that this is going to be something that helps you to, you know, recover and to become whole. And not that you're not whole, but I, I think you'll understand what I mean. But it's really going to bring something that, you know, helps helps you hold things near and dear to your heart again. Okay, one more card from this deck. I was going to put it back, but then I was urged to get one more. One more card from this deck, please, Spirit. What other message do you have for Pisces from this deck, please? You know, things are healing in your life. Wow, look at that. It's stuck right in the coffee almost. Can you see? Oh, I guess you guys can't see. Kind of, it's like just right there. <laughs> it's funny. Anyway, let go. Okay, so with the death um, and adversity, you know, spirit is saying, you know, there is, you're going to have to let, as you, as you receive this offer and this message and decide that you do in fact want to go forward, you're going to, you know, remain positive. Recovery will be occurring and let go. Um, let's see one more card and we will close it out for you, Pisces. Let's see what spirit, what do you want Pisces to have for this? Okay, I'll try this. Usually this is, this deck hasn't been working in the readings, but we'll see. One card from this deck for Pisces, please. Spirit, do you have a message for, for Pisces from this deck, please? Okay, that's way too many. One card from this deck for Pisces, please. Spirit, do you have a message from this deck for Pisces, please? One card. Do you have a message for Pisces from this deck, please? Okay, thank you. And that one's stuck right under the coaster as well. Clover. Release your guilt. And and Pisces, that may be something that comes up with the thing that you're dealing with. Perhaps it's a big step for you to follow, you know, your answered prayers, for you to change into a new cycle, for you to follow what's true to yourself. But as this um, opportunity is presented to you or this news or as you make this decision to move forward, understand that in order for new to come into your life, you need to move away from the old, which will, of course, be that death. And, you know, it will require acceptance of changes. Um, remain positive and let go. If you have any guilt, make sure that you're handling that and addressing it properly and understand that oftentimes guilt is a way to help us remain stuck instead of moving forward into our divine path. So this is what I have for you, Pisces. I hope it helps. God bless.